Welcome back. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the Day Time Podcast. <laughs> How is everybody? Hope oh you're all God. doing well. Hope you're all yeah. doing well. Um, yeah, uh, the last time you saw us was arguing with two other randoms, <laughs> you know, so it's, yeah. been, it's been a hot minute. Hope you guys enjoyed the last episode. I know there was a lot of controversy in there, a lot of back and forth a lot of good discussion and if you haven't go right now go listen to it go right now after this episode maybe yeah finish this one <laughs> and then go to that one don't worry this won't be too long anyway but like uh, we're we're just out here um you might be wondering what we if you follow obviously the Time podcast <laughs> like instagram or any of the other social medias you would know that we were on holidays yes we were well can you imagine while that video was posted we were out in a different part of Nigeria. living our best lives imagine who would have ever thought? Of course. Um, you know, the title of today's episode was influenced by Fuhad, actually. Oh, really? And he said, is the destination worth the hype? Oh, uh, a new yeah, series. No, I actually don't like that because now Fufu is just going <laughs> to it's gonna be like, I made this one segment. I made this, like, there's another segment that I remember that he was like, what, he's going to be like, gas. He said yeah, he's, yeah. he's, um, he's going to keep track of all this, you know, for when we get big so he yeah. can sue us. Sue us. Yeah. Can't do shit, <laughs> dummy. <laughs> That's not how this works. Yeah, but no. without further ado, oh, okay. I, you know, I actually like that. It's good. Is the destination worth the hype? It's good. Romania. You know, well, well you, you just, Bucharest. You just spoiled it. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, we went to Bucharest, Sinaya, and Bran. Yeah. Uh, we were just there. Uh, we left on the 17th of March on Paddy's Day. I know no. Irish people not being in Ireland during Paddy's Day. That's what Irish people do. Because all you motherfucking <laughs> Americans. <laughs> it, was so, it was so much cheaper to leave because so many people are coming into yeah, the country. Absolutely. That leaving was just like cheaper. Yeah, you know, we, it, was, it was such an easy flight. Yeah. You know, because everyone's like coming into Ireland like, I want to I wanna have a fucking green Guinness with a leprechaun. <laughs> So. I've never seen a green Guinness. Is there even such a thing? I just made that up. I right think now. like green beer. No, I don't think. I think such it's things. the thing they definitely do in the U.S. Yeah, I haven't seen. A I beer, I don't think. I think that's like a sin against God in Ireland. Like it's definitely to tamper with Guinness, somewhere. you know. But uh, absolutely no, definitely here anyway. Uh, we don't do that. Uh, like to be honest, like we can touch on it real quick, but like. Paddy's Day is just hectic in Ireland. Like, you mm-hmm. know, like in Dublin specifically, it's hectic. Like, yeah. you have so many, like, people from around the world, which is, re- don't get me wrong, it's really cool. Mm-hmm. But it's also just, like, it's just so long, like, you know. I think a lot of people do enjoy going to the countryside, you yeah. know, countryside lol. Going um, back to your family. You know, Cary or Kerry. Cork or whatever to see the parade. Mm. Um because like it is a nice vibe but when it's so busy and packed yeah, no, and you can't even see the parade everywhere is packed like you yeah. know like i i do remember that i per, i i do personally prefer the st patrick's day down in Kerry and also in cork when i was in college yeah. like but i wouldn't exp- i wouldn't want to do the cork one now like it's only when i was in college yeah. but like if i was to do any patty's day it would be down in Kerry, like for sure you know it's yeah. i think it's a lot it's much more like mm, fun funny funny you know the whole thing you know like because if i want to party i can party any other time in dublin i don't need to party on Pir- on patty's day like you know yeah no, when I everyone is agree. when everyone is fucking crammed shoulder to shoulder like you know but anyways, on to our Romania stay, Bucharest specifically, of course. We've yeah. been to other areas, but this is just Bucharest. I, if you don't know, some people didn't know actually from following our Instagram page, I am from Romania. Bombastic side eye. My, my, well, yeah, my homeland. Um, but I've never been to Bucharest. You know, I was born. Where are you in, from in Romania? You didn't I tell them. I was born and raised in? Timisoara. Timisoara. Like a true Romanian. Yeah. And I'm not going to say the Addy of the actual village she's from, you know, just in case you guys are trying to... It's been, it's been on the pod. I know. It's Utvin. <laughs> it's Utvin. Utvin. Yeah, obviously I'm a village girl, so going to the city, huge. Yeah. I mean, So we, we went to Bucharest and... Um, how was your experience, you know, in the whole airplane on the way there? That kind of Oh, uh, the airplane was not... Fuck Nicoletta. <laughs> I'll say this right mean? now. So I had on the Ryanair app, it said our time of tra- travel was going to be three hours and 40 minutes. 
I told her, yeah. and she's like, no, you dummy. Romania is two hours ahead, so it's actually only two hours and 40 minutes. You're one stupid. Hour, yeah, she's like, only one hour and 40 minutes. You're stupid. You're stupid, Farouk. And I was like, no, because it's. I'm not looking at the time in between. I'm looking at the time. It says the length of the travel yeah. is. Yeah. She's like, no. And then we get off the plane. We get off the plane. And then she's like, oh, my God, that was so long. I was that like, was yeah. That long. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I told you. It was going to be fucking true. I was in 40 minutes. Well, it was very unexpected for me. I was like, why is this? Why are we still in Like, the we're air? literally going to, like, the east part of Eastern Europe, for fuck's sake. Like, no. you know, it's going to take a while. Well, anyways. But, yeah, no, Bucharest was cool. Um, I, Like, what's it called? I can see why they call it Paris of the East, Little Paris, all that stuff. If you, you know? guys didn't know. Yeah, in case you didn't know. It is the Paris of the East. You know, like, there are a few places that have that name, but, like, Bucharest is well known for being the Paris of the East versus a little Paris kind of thing. And it's actually really, really beautiful. Like, yeah, like, Nicolette was expecting to see, like, rundown buildings and shit, but me, personally, I knew what I was coming for. And there were so many really beautiful buildings, very, like, you had, like, it was really cool because you had, like, French style and then, like, Victorian and all these other different styles. And, like, then you had also all these, like, uh, was it, Soviet you uh, Soviet Union era type like buildings and stuff like it's a mix mix match of everything like yeah. together so it's like really cool. They were like juxtapositioned, juxtapositioned Next to, each other. to each other. It was like you know really fancy, pretty building here, and then here you have like a very Soviet, yeah, Soviet no. Union inspired. It was building. definitely I really did like it. Like I yeah. really enjoyed the architecture. It was really nice. I really enjoyed it honestly. Um. I would recommend if you're if you're into like seeing those like, kind of architecture. Obviously, don't get me wrong; it's not comparing to Paris on its own. And that's coming from a person who doesn't really like Paris. Yeah. But it's not comparing to like, Paris architecture because that's the, the that's the home source. That's the thing. I will you know? say though. But go on. I felt safer in Bucharest than I did in Paris. Well, yeah, like I guess Paris is like a city, city. I felt yeah. like Bucharest was, like, a very calm city. Mm-hmm. Like, for a city, it was actually very calm. Like, you know, like, when you go to, like, the capital of a country, you expect yeah. it to, like, yeah. be busy and, like, a city. But Bucharest is actually very calm for a city. A you know, it's a very chill city. Like, if you if you didn't know any better, you just think it's, like, a one of the other yeah. big cities, yeah. but not, like, the capital of Romania. Yeah. Like, and there's, you know? there's have a lot of stuff, like, you know, but I think... Yeah, like you said, it is more chill. And the main, main attraction is the old town. Yeah, exactly. And that's where a lot of the tourists would go. Would go. So that's a busier side. But then we left a lot. You know, we went out and, like, explored a little bit. And there wasn't as much people around. So, yeah. yeah no, definitely. Weird. Like, I would say, like, I've because I've been to Timisoara, like, you know. Yeah. And uh, I would say, like architecture wise it's yeah. cooler than Timisoara yeah. but I actually kind of prefer Timisoara oh. like city wise over thing and I think that's just because there's like more classic like Romanian Romanian stuff there like all the mm. little like granny like windows with all the like I just knew that's the corn only thing you're gonna say and bakery <laughs> goods Do you know what I feel Bucharest was really lacking in terms of you know the kind of like little yeah, yeah, shops. yeah, yeah. Like when, like all those little mom and pop shops. Mom and pop shops, yeah. Like, but once again, like we're not locals, so like yeah. you know, obviously, like in Timisoara, we literally know people who live there, so like they're taking us to the right places. But in Bucharest, yeah. we went on our ones, you know. So like maybe don't shoot me down. Maybe it was because we're a lot more touristy, yeah. you know. But yeah, uh, definitely one of those things, you know. Uh, but yeah, no, like Bucharest was very chill city. I I was very, I was quite surprised at how chill it was. To be honest, that was my biggest thing. That I was like. Damn, for a major city, it's very chill, you know? Like, yeah. I don't even know what the population is, but, like, I know I'm just like, yeah, this place is pretty chill, you know? This is this is kind of crazy. Like, how how, how, how did you, how did you expect it yourself, like, in comparison to... My like, homeland. Yeah. Um, I thought it was so much prettier. Bucharest. Oh, I'm yeah, it is sorry. prettier. It I'm is prettier. Sorry. It is. Well, we also got the good weather, so that was an added bonus, you know, yeah. whatever. But when we I went think... to Timisoara, I was frozen. <laughs> it was, it was snowing. Like, it was cold as no, I think, you know what, Bucharest has, like Farouk said, I my expectations, I don't know why they were so low. Of her I own country. I was just like, oh, it's just going to be like a run down, crappy, like whatever. But it really wasn't. It was so many beautiful buildings that I didn't expect. And it was just like left, right, and center. This beautiful architecture. And I felt like there was so much to look at and admire. You know, it wasn't, and it was like within walking distance. So I really like that that we didn't have to go all the way out except for the the parliament. 
Oh yeah, that was like, just yeah, yeah. That was a bit far. So the thing, the, here's the thing: the Parliament thing is cool, right? Yeah. But that's all around yeah, the area. There's nothing else. There's nothing else around that area. Like, don't once again, don't come at, come at me, Bucharestians. All right, I, maybe I'm not as good as you. I don't know your your goddamn city, but that was that was all. So like, yeah. if you're a tourist, just go look at it. I say just get that out of the way, bang bang. Yeah. And then do all your other sightseeing because honestly, like, that was like one of the last things we went to go sightsee, and I was just like, this all right, that's it. it. Now we're at the yeah, I was just like, move on. <laughs> Take your picture. I took, I took, I took my, a, yeah. yeah, I took my video and I took the photo and I just got the fuck out. We literally. took a bowl there, and then we were actually planning to eat there, but there were so many places that were like fully booked, fully booked. It was like yeah. it definitely looked on the bougier side. So I, you know, politicians probably go to eat there, whatever. Who are we to go in? I suppose, but um, yeah, it was kind of like quick after that. Two places rejected us. So yeah, we just leave. took a bolt back home. Let's <laughs> just leave. Honestly, like, I was just like, yeah. So, well, don't waste your time with that, honestly. It wasn't yeah. that, it's not really that deep. But on the know? food side, I want to talk a little bit about the the places we went to. Yeah, but we went to, like, we went to, like, the places that Romanians aren't going to, to be honest. I mean, I like, so, like, we should not be the ones talking about food. We're going to tell you I what mean, we did, but, like, yeah. Romanians aren't casually going to, like, Nicoletta took us to some fucking Van Gogh restaurant. It was our first restaurant there. Like, and they but served, like, when I tell you, look, no, hold on. When I tell you, they serve the deadest pancakes I've ever had in my life, and this is a this is a big disrespect to Romania. Don't get me wrong; like serving that type of pancakes from Romania is kind of disrespectful because they're like Romanians. One thing I know them for is that they're good at baking. But we don't eat pancakes like that. Though. I know, but like you if know? you think if you can make nice baked treats like corn, yeah. all these other things, and cakes, a simple. Pokoma ordinary pancake would not be that. These no. were cardboard pancakes, bro. You, I, I will defend them here because that's not how we make pancakes. And I think they're trying to appeal to like the American fluffy pancake BS. Ass. But we don't do, we eat crepes. Like that's the only pancake you're going to find. The, the really thin ones. And they're really good. Like, you yeah. know, like whatever. So I agree. I remember. Yeah, I agree. They gave you so much nuts as well. <laughs> Yeah, there was there were more nuts in that bowl than there was pancake. Like it was just like I got a a nut salted caramel like whatever pancake. Yeah. And then it's like two dirty ass ugly ass pancakes that tasted like shit, mm-hmm. like cardboard. And then some drizzle, a little literally like a drizzle. Sorry for anyone who's listening, but I'm waving my hand like a little <laughs> drizzle thing of um, like salted you know caramel. salted caramel. And then like they're just like how much nuts. Should we put and some were like yes, yes, just yes, bunch of nuts, and they weren't even nice nuts either, you know. Yeah. So, like I, I would personally, the Van Gogh Cafe looks cool, yeah, not worth it. I but would give I, it a two out of ten. I think it's worth it simply for going inside and seeing everything because it was really nice inside. Yeah, like, I'm gonna say they had like cute little paintings hanging off. They're not like, real. They're, well. No, we saw the real Van Gogh paintings. Oh, yeah. On TikTok, we're going to tell you it's real. <laughs> but in real life, it's not real. No, obviously not. And I think that it was a really nice vibe. It's definitely not a place that Romanians go to because as soon as you go, you're greeted in English. Every single person is greeted in English. Everyone that was around us was speaking Italian, Spanish, all these different languages. And none of it, like, there was no Romanian there. Um, And the queue after we got in, luckily, we got in really quickly. But the queue was crazy because, you know, it's one of those, like, attractions. It's yeah, yeah, like no, a- the queue went insane after we already went and got in. This queue was really long, but yeah. honestly, skip it. I, I agree. I would agree. skip it. That is a easy skip for oh, moi. I would say, though, if you want to experience it, go for a coffee and then leave. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know? Go for, like, a coffee or something. Yeah. No, something. Get a little, little insta photos. Yeah, else. exactly. Because yeah. it is a nice, like, atmosphere. I got some nice pictures in there. But Yeah, the frappe I got was actually nice. See, that's the thing. Go yeah. for a coffee and then, but not the like, food. leave. Yeah. So, that was our first experience. And then we kind of, like, walked around a Saw the bit. sites. Mm. The what? sites. Chef's kiss. Uh, what was the other restaurant we ate at? I'm, I literally am pulling this up here as we go so that I make sure I'm not missing anything. Yeah, yeah. We saw the really pretty, like, umbrella street. And, you know, I think we left at such a good time because there was no one on the streets. So it was just yeah. kind of us. And we got, like... Yeah, no. Like, the sites, time. definitely... Like so, rating Bucharest sites wise was very nice. I would have to give it six and a half out yes. of ten, like a, a hard six to a light seven. 
kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, that, that that's the that's the feeling, you know. Because yeah. like I've been to places that are a lot prettier, but like the places where oh, like what? But like the places like we're comparing like it what? to, like, like our freaking Japan, like South Korea, even Paris is. My f- and I, I would hate. Say Bucharest, and I hate. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we're talking about city. after. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, that one's going to give it a better rating. Yeah. Don't worry. But, like, I'm talking about yeah, Bucharest yeah. alone. I would give it, like, a six and a half, yeah. The other place that we went to was Carturesht Garuse, which was the uh, library there. And yeah. it was really beautiful. That library, I think you have to do it. Yeah. It is so nice. Yeah. Oh, the white with the books, with the, with the kind of, like, bone like it, the, the 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 stairs and everything because of the way they are white and the way they're designed it's kind of like a bone kind of thing it's really cool and uh, any of you that i uh, watch uh, attack on titan yeah. just think of Aaron's final form as a titan this kind of thing uh it is so it's actually really beautiful I think it's worth, very it's aesthetic like as well. yeah you just, you just walk, walk in and you just it's very aesthetic a few pictures very and aesthetic especially if you're like a book lover i know a lot of the books are in romanian but they do have like a whole english section yeah no so you can just go for the library itself to be honest, it's actually really yeah, beautiful. I agree. Very nice vibe in there. Then we had a little Obraznik waffle um, that I made you get, which was also crap. It was Obraznik crap. waffle. I'm not even. I can't even remember what the waffle. It was a cheeky waffle. Oh, that was shit too. Yeah, it was pretty. It was shit. It was pretty bad. It was like yeah. it was shaped as like a genitalia. Yeah. That's their whole. That's their whole shtick. thing. Their whole shtick. But I, w- I expected it to be good, and it really wasn't. And yeah. it's, it's just one of those things that's just gimmicky, you know. I'm telling you, Bucharest, just, you're just lacking when it comes to being like a Romanian, like you know, like Timișoara was. Yeah. Whole different. Yeah. Hoping so, to, we were hoping to eat so much corn. And you like know. Sweeties, but they just yeah, kind of lacking. We didn't get the chance to. I know there was a chain of Luca. Like we even tried. That was. Well, I know, but the I think lines it were long. Been good. I don't it think it would have been, been that good. good. I don't um, think it would have been that good. The other place that I brought you to for food was um, the artist. The artist was shit. <laughs> that was really shit. Like, it was really bad. It's better than the waffle. I yeah. mean, the pancake place because some of the dishes are nice. But oh my god, also another place the Romanians weren't going to. Oh, absolutely not. One, it's expensive. It's, was it was like two hundred thirty-five leo. We paid like one hundred and sixty euro. Yeah, yeah, but it was like 235 per person yeah. for a six course meal. Yeah, six course Like a course six course meal, meal thing. Oh. It was shit. It was shit. Like, I am gonna. I did not like it. I, there were some meals no, no, that I liked. Some meals that were nice, but, like but we, overall. Yeah, because we picked the whole six, right? If we would have chosen like three or four that we, you know, would have been good. Okay, whatever. It's a guessing but, game still, though. Yeah, no, it was definitely. Again, one of those like you know gimmicky places that I guess bougie people go to. I don't really know that. Yeah, I don't get me wrong. To go there, I am not the target audience. No. I'm a bum. I'm not fancy schmancy fine dining person, right? Yeah. Like I think for a fine dining person, I'm like, oh, I'm exquisite. I'm exquisite. It was kind of funny seeing me? us in no. there, like not knowing how to eat the foods and just like picking them up. But I. I don't know. There's like some vibe to it that was like, oh, they're taking good old mamaliga, like polenta, and they're yeah. putting it in a tiny little bite sized strip and then serving it with like some blue cheese or whatever. And it's like, no, this food is so much better on its own if you're. Yeah, just no, eat it. honestly, it wasn't. Um, oh, it did not ginger me. Oh. No, it didn't hit at all. Actually. Go ginger me. It just didn't hit. I wouldn't recommend it. it. Plus, it's really expensive. But to be fair, I don't think we were there for the traditional Romanian food because one, you're not the biggest fan. Yeah, of let me not lie. Food. Like Mama Liga, <laughs> Sarmale, all that. Like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like, it just doesn't hit. Yeah. No offense to her mom. Because like, like, mom's like, a great baker. I but, eat it at home, right? So for me, I wasn't intrigued to go do that. I was intrigued to go do the bougie things that are cheaper to do there. Which is interesting because when I went to Lagos, I was just like, I want to eat everything I eat. Okay, well, this is about Lagos. I know. Then after, we went on our night out. So, opinions on clubbing. Uh, Well, we, the thing is, we didn't really go to like a club. Yeah. We went to like a... What would you call it? Like a bar, an like an a bar event like thing. Event, yeah. yeah, you know, like it was like this Afrobeats thing, and it was pretty nice. It was pretty cool. Uh, the DJ was good. Um, it was enjoyable, and I would say like, it, maybe if it was like in a big, like that was the one thing. Like on the Friday night, we should have went to like a proper big club. <laughs> but Nicola was tired. We had Popeyes. Nicola was tired, so we went to sleep. 
not I wasn't tired. I wasn't feeling well at yeah, all. Yeah, yeah, to be honest, <laughs> to be fair to her. Yeah, so like so I I I haven't had the experience to go to an actual big Romanian club because they actually have really big clubs there. Like they have big nightclubs like you yeah, know over they there do. and stuff. So we never went so but the event was actually was decent. Actually it was I was surprised it was as good as it was for where it was. Yeah. You get me? That's that was my thing. And we you know? met some friends as well, um, which was pretty nice. But yeah, I did, like the venue was kind of split between you know Manele, which is like kind of like the other type of music that they listen to in Romania, and then Afrobeat. So it was a bit of an interesting mix. Um, but yeah, I think if it was like a different venue, whatever. I, I'm not too bummed because I've been, you know, clubbing in Milan and yeah. it would have been, I know it would have been the same thing and it, it's just not for me. I know there's like a lot of like techno-y type music and I'm like, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm good, I'm good. Um, And then the next day I brought you to, you know, the really sky high place. Oh yeah, the sky tower. Sky tower? Nor. I don't know what it was. Nor. N- nor. No, nor. Yeah. Yeah, nor. it's called Nor. So cloud um, in Romanian. That didn't bang either. Yeah, it was all the fancy stuff just didn't really hit, you know. Like I think it was because it's targeted towards foreigners because they know they have the money for it, uh, and like they were do you okay. Remember, they were Romanian yeah, you know, like but my burger wasn't bad to be honest. Yeah, that I had there. Uh, the chips were nice. Um, the only thing was I wanted the wagyu burger and didn't have any wagyu, yeah. so it might have been a better experience if I had the wagyu burger and that was busting. But there were other burgers that redeemed themselves in that trip, so don't worry about <laughs> it. Um, but yeah, no, like it just didn't hit. It didn't really hit. It was Look at his reaction. The, the view was the view was cool. Yeah, the view was we cool. didn't even get a window seat. But yeah, but like, was... yeah, like I would say, like if you have some money to dash and you want to just have aesthetics, yeah, then go. Because I think out of all the other places that we went to, this is the only one that I'd be like, okay, if you want to try something bougie, go to this one. Yeah, like that one, I would actually but... say, like if you want aesthetics, as I said. <laughs> go to this one but yeah if you don't care about the aesthetics there's no reason to go but near it is a shopping mall that we didn't explore i mean we walked through but, we, we but it was a big enough there. shopping mall so that's there you yeah. know that's there to explore yeah uh, just look up an hour and you'll see the shopping mall beside it, and that's exactly. a pretty big shopping mall to go but on that same day what did we do we went to therm hey. park it's this it's uh europe's biggest like thermal yeah. indoor thermal cool. spa park kind of water park kind of thing very cool it was so cool it was huge very cool and because a uh, fun fact before i went one of my friends sophie told me oh are you guys going there and i was like i didn't even I yeah she wanted to take us to somewhere else no i didn't i actually didn't. i thought you, you told us to bring up my shorts for a reason for sinaya oh yes yeah, sorry <laughs> yeah um so i didn't we didn't know, but it was such a pleasant surprise. Like, it was one of those, like, really nice finds, especially because... And I'm glad, because actually it was yeah. good. And by the second day, also, I feel like we've kind of seen everything, so there wasn't much for us to do, and I'm glad that we had that. Yeah. Um, it was really huge, and it was, like, huge, just, like, botanical garden all around. But yeah. it was, like, all indoor, really warm. The water cool. was lovely. <laughs> It was warm because I hate cold water, like, which is funny coming from someone who does enjoy swimming. But I do hate cold water and I'll do it. Like, but I'll do it, obviously, because I enjoy swimming. But, uh, yeah, I know the water was nice and warm. It felt good on the skin. It was enjoyable. But it's not, like, deep enough that you're going to, like, be yeah. swimming laps around. It's more about just chilling. The one thing I did not like, my biggest, my biggest complaint, is that they served alcohol also. They had, like, a... Uh, in the water you know yeah, like, like a bar in water bars you know so we were able to go around with literal beer gins all these different drinks in the water so we would just spill it and i was like this is definitely not good for your skin that you're swimming this alcohol water like yes i know and like water keeps getting removed and put in but like still it's ew flow. I, I don't know, i don't like it for me it was exciting because the first time that i experienced well the first time for you as well i yeah. assume but it was the first time that i experienced like a bar inside a pool you and know? i realized at that moment i hated it the concept <laughs> i really liked it i thought it was so nice especially because you could sit they had little chairs like in the water which was so nice to me and i think the whole payment system as well like you tapped your little um 
like wristband and then you paid for everything that you consumed at After the, the end fact, yeah. which i thought was really nice yeah because i hate when you have to load up those fucking bands with stuff and then like you don't yeah. know how much money you're going to use and they have to get a refund later and you're just like oh that's long just let me pay for everything at the end exactly i, c- I completely agree so i we paid for access to the whole place for the whole day and it was 65 euro for yeah. both of us so i think it, you don't need you don't yeah. need to you don't need the whole day you i would also recommend that you don't them. need the water park the like yeah, slide we park. went to the slide part too it is honestly not worth no. it in my like no. it's not worth it at all no. the slide part is just not fun the slides are, are shit like if you've been to any proper water parks those are shit slides like they're not fun they're like they're just decent but for it's the extra for kids, I think. yeah for the extra cost it's not worth it mm-hmm. i think you're better off paying for the main thing and if you like saunas and stuff then pay for the sauna stuff the as well you know you know called. whatever yeah but like the galaxy i think it's called galaxy was what the the slides are called or maybe somewhere yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah like it's not honestly it's not worth it i no. think just the main part and then the upstairs saunas if you're interested in that are are, are worth it and then it's really pretty during the day like because there was a bit of sun it was cold but there was a bit of sun so it was really the sun was shining so it was nice. glowing glowing and then i in the evening they do the light show where like yeah everything like neon lights come on all these things i would recommend honestly if you were to go do to go to the thermo park and i'm really glad that we went because it yeah. was actually really enjoyable and i would say go towards the evening ish so you catch yeah. the daylight and the nighttime absolutely without having to stay the whole day, day or anything yeah because like, that. Cause, like it is long to obviously to stay in the water for that long but yeah. like yeah no i would recommend the thermo park i didn't i actually i was surprisingly pleasantly i think it, it gets like it. an 8.5 out of 10 for me Eat, um seven okay due to the fact that i hate one i don't drink and the alcohol just being in the water just pisses me off so fair then that evening we ended up going to benny hanna Oh, yeah. Which was I like to talk about this. I've been to Benihana miss. before. My it second was time. <laughs> oh, so disappointing. It's basically one of those, you know, Asian cuisine Hibachi. places where yeah, they you know, they cook in front of you, um, and then they put the food on your plate, whatever. And it was just not that Shit. good. Um the chef was messing up a lot. So it was like six eggs the poor in. Lad. Like, the poor lad. He's like, I don't want to lose my job. Like, can, no. we, can we get a food, please? Anyone who's been to Benny Hanna knows that Benny Hanna sucks. It's more for the show yeah. and like the aesthetics than it is for the food. The food is not that good, honestly. Like it's either over salted or not really cooked enough for it, or whatever. It's just bland. Like it's not really that deep. Benny Hanna is a absolute. That was my second time at Benny Hanna, and yeah, I, I will say it was better than my first time in the sense of like the food. The first time I went to Benny Hanna was in the states, and that food was the saltiest shit I've ever had in my life. The guy was fucking hand point that song you know and it was terrible like the show was better in the states yeah. but the food was better here yeah. because that shit was hella salty another miss i don't know it's been a lot of miss but then the next day we did have a good i think i would say we went to this i wanted to go initially to this place but it was awkward there wasn't enough space we walked back out and then we found ever after ever after uh, yeah was I very thought nice it was good that i was thought very, ever after was the first that was like, that was a good meal. meal that was a very enjoy, enjoyable meal i uh, would recommend that place it was very good for sure and then we were off on our way to sinaya to sinaya come yeah. on tell us a bit about that you okay. drove mister it's really not that deep i just drove on the other side of the road not that deep uh anyone who has a license i would hope that you could just switch lanes like that easily uh it's really that easy but uh yeah no uh what's it called obviously i know it's not easy for everybody i for personally do not find it like it's just like oh yeah, but I, if i were to do it i would kill someone and myself yeah but for me i'm just like okay i just switch sides now okay done yeah like it's well. just a mental switch like but um how yeah. did you find driving in romania oh driving was fine but i drove like in the highway and then in the towns yeah like i would say like the drivers are very impatient that's definitely the one thing they love just overtaking people but you were becoming impatient by the end of it yourself. yeah but like i guess that's only because like everyone is driving so fast like no one really respects the speed limit until there's like a speed camera coming up you know like way much more so than ireland like i i do find people do respect the speed limit a little bit more because i'm usually the person not respecting the speed limit so i'm going faster than everybody else but here 
everyone else was going faster than me, yeah. which I'm not used to. So that's when I was like, fuck, I might as well just go fast then too. Like the which fuck? was a little bit funny because the car that we rented had a beeper thing. So every time we went past the speed limit, it would start beeping. And yeah, that yeah. one point was like, fuck this. Okay, just you know, care. it was so annoying. Yeah. But uh, yeah, no, the driving there isn't too bad, to be honest. But they are very impatient drivers. So definitely. That is one thing I will say. Very yeah. impatient. Just rah, 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 taking, overtaking, doing whatever. But it is what it is. Doesn't matter. At least there's the lanes to do that. Yeah. You know, and then driving the villages aren't too bad. Like, it's not too bad. Like, it's actually pretty calm, honestly. Mm-hmm. Like, um, lots of one-way roads where, like, the, the only way for you to turn is then eventually at a roundabout. <laughs> I don't know if that's, like, a Sinaya thing, but, like, no, fuck, that shit really. was really annoying, man. I had to, like, anytime I wanted to turn, like, left into somewhere, I had to go all the way to the next roundabout, turn around, and go back. Like, it was so freaking annoying. But besides that, it was calm, to be honest. I think... Sinaya is such a beautiful place to visit. No, absolutely. I, if you're in that area, Sinaya is like a must-see. Like the Pelish Castle, the because even the casino, mm-hmm. the other monastery. castle, yeah, the monastery, the other castle, Elishor, which is a smaller castle. Very, very worth seeing. Very beautiful. Very yeah. beautiful. Unfortunately, they were closed for entry when we were there. Yeah. But even just the outside, you'll see it on hers instagram you see it on my instagram once i post it like oh my god those that place is beautiful absolutely and we're so lucky that we had the sun and oh yeah. my god is well, i'm not exaggerating when i tell you it's really stunning like i would put sinaya up there with one of the best places i've seen like been to like it's just very it's just that pretty like it's very mm-hmm. it's very like magical fairy tale pretty kind of thing you know it's I literally agree. like a magical yeah, fairy tale yeah. castle you know kind of I thing agree. it's Beautiful, beautiful I, castle. Do you know what? I, while I was a little bit upset because I didn't realize that the castle was closed on Mondays and Tuesdays, I was kind of happy because there were very few people there. Yeah. So we almost kind of had the whole castle to ourselves and some girls that were finishing their graduation, graduation. graduation and taking so graduation photos. There. But even at that, yeah, there yeah. still wasn't that many people. So I would recommend yeah. that maybe you should go for the exterior because like what people usually do is that they go to the exterior and then go interior, you know, on the days and like go view it. But I would actually say like if you want to just look at the exterior, like take some photos undisturbed, go on the days it's closed and then in the interior, go on the days yeah. open, obviously. 100%. And that, because that was actually really cool. And it was so nice. And we got so many beautiful pictures and, Oh, it, just the whole vibe. We were spent like a whole hour or so there just chilling. Yeah, know, I know. Enjoying the view. No, Sinai was th- absolutely really beautiful. I would rate it. A lot higher than progressed. It was definitely... If you include the food. It just gets... It's like an eight or nine. It gets a nine from me. Yeah, like 100%. It, was, it was very, very And it was beautiful. my second time there, but I think I saw a little bit different with you because I was younger and you, know, you kept telling me you were smaller. You were smaller. You were smaller. <laughs> Everything else was bigger. But, like, it was just so, so nice. And then we walked up because, you know, there's, like, a sphinx somewhere up there. There's, like, a the gondola. gondola that goes up. And we're, like, we'll walk it. Yeah, but Let's it's not really meant to be walk for walking. It. There was no footpath. There was no nothing. nothing. We just kind of, like, walked there. And I was wearing a really pretty, like, overall. So it was, like, a little dress and tights. And Frick was in a tee. And everyone else was in ski gear. Everyone was in ski gear. Because it was ski time. It's ski season, right? You know, so mountains have snow. As we were walking up and it's getting colder, people are driving down and they're all looking at us like we have two heads. Right, yeah, so. literally everyone is full on ski gear snowboards <laughs> skis the whole sh- and then we're just there casually rolling up and then we're like can we go in the gondola please just go up go and down, back down just so we can see the view aerial view they're like cool pay and then we're just there everyone is still in their ski gear i was just like damn we're a little bit underdressed <laughs> for <laughs> just this. a little tag <laughs> but it was nice i would say like going up the gondola it would have been nice to bring you all the way up so you could see the sphinx yeah but it was that. cold like, as fuck yeah it was very cold there was snow up there yeah like, there was snow and then we walked back down it was such a long walk too but it was like in the forest so all of a sudden i became very aware that you know there might be wild animals there are bears there. in that forest yeah be aware there's warnings everywhere there are bears in that forest but i do think um overall we got a, such a beautiful day it was so sunny so i think yeah. in that way we got very very lucky anyway at the end of the day we went to a place called wood that <laughs> restaurant top tier restaurant one of the best I restaurants agree. i've ever been to i agree I literally had one of the best burgers I've ever had in my life in that restaurant. I And I am not exaggerating because I'm a tough critic. That burger was lang. And I didn't expect it because it was like a massive menu. Yeah. And it was like a, a place, you know, like in a tourist town or whatever. I was like, it is whatever. No, they put love 
effort into that burger. Yeah. It was the Rossini burger or whatever. Oh, you remember and everything. Oh my god, I'm telling you right now, that is I was like covered. I was messy. I was <laughs> I everywhere. enjoyed that burger so much. It was so good. Like I I shit you not. It was just that good. And, and uh, sorry for everyone who's fasting, you know? Yeah. Like, I'm fasting too, so I'm hungry just saying this. But, like, yeah, no. It was a freaking ridiculous we burger. Are we are fasting, actually. Yeah. <laughs> shout out, shout Ralu. Like, look at her, bro. Um, you know? But, yeah, no, that place was, oh my God, 100%. And to top it off, you had the best drink ever. I wish I got it for myself. Oh, yeah. Um, they had the mocktail, this little red Ryan being held mocktail. Yeah. So, like, it was it was just like different types of juices and stuff. It was really nice. No, that. oh my god, I got I think I got an Argentinian beef schnitzel or something. Oh, that was really oh good my as god, well. It was so delicious. I'm so surprised. The food there is bang, honestly. And we got the starters that were really good. I got an onion soup. I love onions. No, the whole thing, honestly. Oh Wood, shout out to you yes. because you were definitely the best meal I ever had in Romania ever, period. <laughs> the only thing that competes with you is the baked goods, but that's a whole different level. Yeah, and I think um once again, because it wasn't touristy time, we kinda had the restaurant to ourselves. So yeah. it was it was just such a nice vibe. And then right outside there was these like it's a dessert place and there's these like little bubbles outdoors and they have a cute little teddy bear and oh, it was just so pretty and the dessert was really good. Um and I I, I don't know, there's something about it. It was just so 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 nice. Yeah, I know. Um, and then the next day we it got cloudier. We went to Bran. Bran. Who do we Castle see? Castle Bran. Who do we see? We saw Vlad Siepes. Yes, we did. You know, so uh, that's Dracula for anyone who doesn't know. That's well, he Vlad Siepes is a real person, and yeah. then Dracula is inspired off him. Yes. You know, by an Irish guy, nonetheless. Um, yeah. you let me I didn't story. know that. That was very you know, interesting to me. But that doesn't really matter. Just watch Castlevania. <laughs> that show is lang, and that show talks about a lot of like the stuff that actually happened as well. It's very enjoyable. Obviously, it's fictional, but like yeah. it, they still talk about like Valachia, all these things, and all these you know, uh, the way old Romania kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, but uh, no, the castle was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, it Nicoletta I, didn't really like it because it wasn't as beautiful, but. It it wasn't as it, beautiful, but the thing is, I feel like it's worth paying to go get in because from the outside, it looks like it's run down. Yeah, it looks like a old, but like <laughs> that castle was a big part in why Romania was never taken over by the Ottoman Empire. So yeah. like, you know, um, put some respect on its name. Sorry. So uh, yeah, no, honestly, pretty cool. And then the really cool part was seeing the best part, I think, of that entire thing, when, besides like looking at the interior and the exterior which is really cool was the um torture chamber yes. and we paid equipment. for that as well it's like 20 lei yeah yeah, per, yeah, or yeah. overall yeah because uh, you pay for the different no actually like, 10 lei for yeah, that one and 20 for the total yeah, yeah yeah and then 20 for the uh the tower, tower? yeah so the, you pay for different things and yeah. I would, just two things like going for the tower thing don't recommend the tunnel that. thing unless you want to be lazy and get out of the building faster because then you don't have to walk all the way out it's, it's like not, an it elevator down expensive too yeah i know so it's just but, what is twenty lay? And the torture room, ve- actually very. very all the seeing all the tortured things, crazy. Some of the stuff they did to people back in the medieval ages, fucking inhuman. Yeah. Holy shit! They had a chair with all the spikes. We saw the maiden casket where the thing. My mom would know all about this because she loves that. Um, what's it called? The man in the iron mask, and they have some of those things in uh, there in the movie. But uh, yeah, no, it is insane. Yeah, no, I agree. I think. I didn't, because at first it looked like a tiny little like walk, but yeah. when they let us in, it was a whole section, like you see, of like oh, torture equipment, um, which is funny enough nowadays more sexually used. So yeah, no, you but know where no, it comes pretty, from. Pretty insane, definitely. <laughs> would recommend looking at it though. Very fun, like to be like, damn, they used to kill people like this. Yeah. Well, insane. Okay. Um, I did feel like there wasn't much to do around there. Yeah, no, honestly, I think. You can go to see, as you said, see the castle, see whatever, but yeah. don't mark it off as a day thing. It's not a day thing. It's not a day thing. A it's day like day. a, like it, it probably takes you like an hour to get out there. You spend maybe an hour and a half, maybe yeah. throughout the entire tour, yeah. throughout the whole thing, and then an hour back. So like, see it as like, okay, four hours of my day gone, and then I'll go back to yeah. Sinai and do something else. I'm gonna you know? agree with you because uh, even there, there wasn't like even 
pretty buildings around yeah, much like to that see. or you know much sightseeing other than the castle and then the food there was also missed yeah it was, it was not that the great the food was not that good that place um, and they couldn't yeah. even speak english they could only speak romanian but that's why i had them um, lucky i had my trusted romanian here with me you know because the woman was like oh my god that was a close call yeah. but the food was not that good but then we then on our way home did something that she wanted to do come on tell the world oh my god stuff i was so 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 excited so i because we finished there so early i was like oh my god what else is there to do on our way back and then i zoomed in on maps and i saw there was another castle nearby but right next to it, it said nevermore academy and i was like oh my god 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 like all of a sudden i was like we need to go there so it's basically it's a it has a whole history the castle has a whole history there's a lot to it but that is where it, the tour is only romanian yeah there yeah. is an audio guided tour that you can listen to in english but the tour person is yeah. only speaks romanian yeah. so i was just like nodding and smiling like pretending i knew romanian yeah. um but anyways the only reason i wanted to go there was because nevermore academy if you know it's a the show with jenna ortega and it's about wednesday adams la, la, la. if you know you know it's funny she didn't um, even know anything about the adams family or even until, wednesday until, until i was like I, I was literally i had it on my list of stuff to watch on netflix because i love the whole adams family thing and as anyone who has seen that lo- loves it and then she's like oh i'll watch this with you i mean i love jenna ortega so automatically but you didn't even know it was jenna ortega until i showed you the listen <laughs> it was so nice and then knowing like seeing the castle like that's where a lot of the scenes were made outside the outside of the castle the exterior shots oh yeah. my god it was just so nice i was so baffled <laughs> yeah no. um inside the castle like it, i I expect to see more, but you can a- skip that tour. Skip but you have tour. to pay to look at the exterior. Though. Yeah, you. I think it's worth well, it yeah, to just go exterior. and chill. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. To look at the exterior. There's a really pretty cafe there. It was as well. pretty cool. Um, but would like inside tour, you can skip it unless you're interested in it. Unless you're a history buff. Um, yeah, I would skip it. And then if you are once again like you know like a Wednesday Adams fan, there's Buftia Studios, which is right outside Bucharest. And there they have the actual like whole set where a lot of the movie was shot. So I think you need to book it in advance so they're like prepared for you. Yeah. Um, and we don't know how much that costs. Yeah. It's probably I mean, a lot. We, I think we would have done it. I would have 100% if I knew. But I didn't. If it, was, no. uh, it could be a lot of money though. That, I don't that's think a whole so. set. No, because people go all the time. I guess like, so. They might have it like you know, prepared. The touristy right? thing. Yeah. But yeah, if you love it, it is also there. That's where it was shot. So yeah, so that's my country. Um, and then we were back in Sinaya. Yeah. And we went yeah. to the spa inside the hotel, which is included, which is very nice. Hotel yeah. Sinaya was the hotel. Yeah. The workers are rude, but that the might hot- have just been to me. But the hotel was nice, and so would recommend just for the location and the thing but don't give a shit about the people the service yeah. uh, like uh but um breakfast was pretty crap yeah breakfast was pretty actually like if you like cakes they had a lot of cakes <laughs> and to be honest i couldn't eat much of the stuff because like it was either pork or it was eggs and i don't like <laughs> eggs on their i don't like eggs on their ones i don't like it yeah. and i like eggs or something but i can't eat the sausages because they're pork so like i just ate like croissants and stuff yeah. like that and bread and toast but so, yeah we ended our night with eating in wood again yeah which was, was good again good again second time <laughs> we went twice and it was still good twice that lets you know so you know it breaks the curse that lets so, you know um and that's kind of like no honestly that was pretty much it but it? so is it worth the hype I don't think there's any hype to Romania personally I haven't heard anyone be like oh my god Romania so I think it is worth like, it. Like, I guess it's worth the hype because there's no hype there. No. But I have been to Timisoara. I have been to Bucharest. I've been to Sinaya. And I've been to Bran. And I can say that I have enjoyed. Every time I've gone to Romania, I've enjoyed my time. I've never not enjoyed my time in Romania. And, like, obviously, maybe, like, obviously, my fellow black people are, are wondering, being like, okay, as a black person. Please tell us. Like, is it cool? Yeah, it's actually pretty calm. I, like, the most you'll have is just, like, what we're all used to is like people looking at you like you know but not like like one thing i would notice is that i haven't seen much people look at me with disgust like some people here and there but not much uh definitely it's just more of like oh 
it's a black person like you know kind of thing but like besides that it's actually it's pretty calm well. yeah freaking kids called me mbappe uh oh, typical uh but no like it's one of those things obviously like but that was in sinai that was in Buc- not in bucharest like it was like a school tour or something yeah. so obviously like in bucharest no one said anything no one did anything and even team and like no one said anything no one did anything so it's pretty calm and did you feel like there was a language barrier at all well, no, because I literally had a Romanian with me every time. I know, time, but so. I feel like everywhere we went, they were very accommodating. Yeah, in English. Bucharest, for sure. There was lots of people speaking English, but I don't remember in Timisoara much people speaking English. Really? So, yeah, no. Bucharest, if you're going to Bucharest, I think you'll be fine if you go to, like, the touristy places. They're, like, they speak a lot of English. Like, the moment anybody saw me that was trying to get me to come into their place, they spoke in English. Yeah. So yeah. they're very used to speaking English there, which so that's not a problem. But obviously, like as I said, as a black person, I, th- I honestly think you're kind of fine. Um, I didn't really have any issues, as I said. You know, I'm like I'm a doo doo person with annoying bow, so like you know what that means. Like, so they have more reason to be mad, but like it is what it is. And but in uh, I think it was honestly fine. Uh, it's not like italy you know or any of those places where like it's surprising a, or, because we have a lot less because it's eastern europe in, in romania like i couldn't actually walk around poland <laughs> just saying so like you know uh like i would have a lot more issues like in places like poland and stuff like than i would in romania so i would say like definitely as a black person if you're going like and we actually did see a good few other like black couples or black people there as well yeah. so definitely it is a place that I feel like black people are a lot more comfortable, especially in the Eastern Europe part to go to. So but I think it's so easy because Romania doesn't get the hype. It's so easy to just avoid the whole lot, you know, it's yeah. like, just don't go to Eastern Europe. You yeah, know? yeah. But I do like, I do feel like Romania does like, it's a little bit more not <laughs> as racist. I feel like they're scared of me more than anything, to be honest. Like, I feel like, like the thing is like in like Poland or like Italy places, they're like, I will fuck you up. Whereas, For no reason. You know, whereas like, like in Romania, I actually like, I look at someone and they're like, <laughs> they like flinch, you know. I think they they're like, this guy's gonna beat my ass, like if anything, you know? I guess, so like keep, you know, like yeah. if anything, you know. Similar, I guess, to Japan as well. Yeah, like you know, in Japan, like they're just like everyone's like staying the fuck away from me. So like you know, whereas it's, they're not like aggressive towards yeah. you, it's more just like a cautionary tale. And there are people who are like obviously like will say hello to you and stuff like that, like you know. So it's not too bad. Like as I said, like uh, for a black person, like the most you'll get is like maybe some like uh, stairs here and there like it's above, obviously like you know yeah, some, it's mostly from men and olders you know yeah. like you know but obviously like i obviously i expect that from coming to men because i'm with a white girl like literally like a romanian girl so like i get it that's like that racism you know but uh and then you also have like the whole like i think the old people kind of like you know they don't really know anything about black people and they're like whatever but then like the younger people they don't bat an eye. They don't really care. Like the max, it, the young people will stare at you is just because, like, oh my god, it's like, it's like, oh my god, it's, it's cool. a black person, <laughs> you know? Oh my god, it's a black person, you know? Which is like, like, oh my god, as if you haven't seen a black person before. But yeah, you know, like there was like when we were in Nord, there was this little baby that kept looking at me, and I kept going like making faces at her, like sticking my tongue out, and it was like really cute. And like the parents had no problem with it. And they're all like, the mom was like, oh my god, look at that, like it's cute, you know, kind of thing. So definitely, it is definitely on the more calmer side. Yeah. And, you know, and that's something, like, even another black person I know that's been on uh, our thing has said that they've had no issues, like, in Romania. Yeah, Daniel, so, who you might have heard yeah. about Cluj. I thought yeah. you the Cluj Yeah, exactly. It. That's the next prop, probably, you know. So, like, yeah. definitely it's been a lot more. I would say yeah. it is definitely a lot more. Trauma. I would say maybe Sinai isn't as used to. Definitely. Sinai is not <laughs> as used to as Foreigners in general. Absolutely, you know. Even like, Romanian... That's where the kids called me fucking Mbappe, man. Yeah. Like, I'm dark skin. <laughs> I think they were part of, like, the... Yeah, the, yeah, they were part of this tour. Like, um, boy, yeah, no. But I, like, I, I sensed it even in general, kind of like, there wasn't as much people speaking English there. Yeah, and there's not as much people speaking English. You know, English and I, I, I found that a bit interesting because it's, it's, I would see it as more of a tourist Tor- place. Yeah, yeah I would, but I guess, like, maybe more Romanians, like, come there to, like, From other parts. You know, other parts Potentially, of Romania. but, um... For me, Sinai is where it's at. I just, yeah. it's just one of those like fairy, like you said, fairy land. Places, yeah, fairy tale kind of thing. Aesthetic, beautiful, um, good food, good vibes. Well, 
vibes whatever it's not like a place that you go to club and have like party you, you go know, to like no, relax no, no, no. you know relax and chill so. yeah so that that that's kind of our take on romania you know, Bucharest, you know. i actually have to give the clear props because i actually thought this episode was gonna be a lot shorter let me know that i didn't think we'd be able to get we this much content but we did, we did we did, did we things. did a lot of things yeah. so there's a lot to talk about so yeah shout out thanks for taking me to your country again uh, i mean thanks for wanting to go because if you weren't so persistent on going we yeah because le- like, let me not lie she did not want to go she did so not want to see there for <laughs> god knows there. how long over years now i've been saying i want to go to bucharest you know, and she's like, no, I don't want to go. I'm like, bro, I want to go. Like, I want to go. So, right. you know, and uh, yeah, no, we finally bit the bullet. We went and it was fun. Rated you know? out of 10. Bucharest and then... You know, well, Bucharest, I give it 6.5. Oh, yeah. So now yeah. eight, a light eight, a hard eight to a light nine. And then um, Bran... Uh, just because I love Vlad Zepesh and the whole thing, uh, that was very cool for me. I can't rate it. It's more of like a, I wouldn't rate it. It's more of like a, if you are a fan of that whole thing, I would say yeah. you will enjoy it. It's either like you'll enjoy it or you not kind of thing, That's right? That's the thing with the, you know? the other castle that I wanted to go to for yeah. Nevermore Academy. Yeah. I would, like, I would rate it, but I don't think it's like a... Exactly. Unless you like the show, I don't see what you Exactly. Do Unless you have some kind of like you, like your adoration for it, like not. Nah. And then overall, like as I said, Team Shaw, like I, I would rank Romania pretty high there for like and like the place I did enjoy going to. So like I give it like a good six and a half, seven, seven. Honestly, yeah. So, you know what? I'll give it seven <laughs> out of respect for you and your mom. I'll give it a seven. I, I did enjoy it. You know, so it was, a, it was, it was a good time. Honestly, I did, I I did like it. So hope you guys enjoy listening to us ramble about Romania. Well parts of Romania yeah. that we've been to. This is, will be a new series of Is It Worth the Hype? Is a destination it's worth a destination the hype? Worth. Thank you so much, Fufu, Don't you ever, ever message me telling me that you made up this name. I will fuck you. <laughs> As we're admitting it on camera, that, uh, on, like on our podcast. Anyways, um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And you know what? Hope you consider going to Romania because you know what? It's worth it. I think it's a good okay. destination to go to. Absolutely. So. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, all the good stuff. The whole shit. All right. Until next time. Peace.